Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethel Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week, in our walk through the Bible, we're looking at the pastoral epistles, Paul's letters to Timothy and Titus. They're called the pastoral epistles because in these letters, Paul is instructing Timothy and Titus what it means to be a leader of the church and how to find and raise up new leaders within the church. Our scripture for today comes from 1 Timothy, the third chapter, starting at the first verse. This saying is trustworthy. If someone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a good work. The overseer then must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, an able teacher, not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not contentious, free from the love of money. He must manage his own household well and keep his children in control without losing his dignity. But if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for the church of God? He must not be a recent convert or he may become arrogant and fall into the punishment that the devil will exact. And he must be well thought of by those outside the faith so that he may not fall into disgrace and be caught by the devil's trap. Deacons, likewise, must be dignified, not two-faced, not given to excessive drinking, not greedy for gain, holding to the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. And these also must be tested first, and then let them serve as deacons, if they are found blameless. Likewise, also, their wives must be dignified, not slanderous, temperate, faithful in every respect, Deacons must be the husband of one wife, and good managers of their children and their households. For those who have served well as deacons gain a good standing for themselves, and great boldness in the faith that is in Christ Jesus. You have to imagine that as a man who is seeking pastoral ministry, that I've spent a lot of time looking at the pastoral epistles, looking at the qualifications to ensure that I'm living up to them. But these qualifications aren't good only for pastors. They're good for all Christians. You see, because when you're a Christian and people know you're a Christian, you become a witness to Christ. People are watching you. They're watching how you behave, how you treat others. They're looking to see if you're a hypocrite, if you don't follow the own rules you espouse. And so these qualifications for people who wish to lead the church, well, they work for all of us because it's about integrity and being Christ in the world. And we're Christ in the world by loving our neighbors. And loving our neighbors means, well, we follow these criteria. Why? Because Christ saved us while we were still sinners. In response to that salvation, We live in the world as Christ calls us to. Hopefully you found some encouragement in these words, some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. If there's anything I can do for you, you can reach out to me directly via email at wilson at blcdelmar.com. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.